Thank you for watching our videos. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. This is a sample video and if you want to get access to the full version, please visit our website www.rasov.com. Thank you. In this section, I'm going to show an example for class AB uh, power amplifier. This is actually a behavioral model and I built this uh, in ADS in order to show how this kind of power amplifier works and how we can get a better efficiency. So we're going to a little bit play around with this and also I will show, for example, some drawbacks we have in real world. What is the difference between the ideal and uh, real model? So let's continue uh, this topic and uh, this is going to be very useful for you in order to uh, learn most of the things. Okay, so uh, this is the setup I have. Uh, so I am doing the harmonic balance with uh, 20 order. You can decrease this, make it like 10. Actually 20 is a lot. So I'm going to explain it from here. Uh, in this part, I have just um, defined the uh, sine wave, which is a time domain sine wave, and uh, it works with harmon harmonic balance. The DC level, the amplitude, the frequency is 1 gigahertz. So DC level is class AB and I'm going to explain this. So it's all about this component here. This is actually a component that you can put a built-in function. Uh, for example, here uh, I use this function. I say if V1 is uh, higher than 0, it, V1 means the positive voltage. It means here. If this voltage is higher than zero, then uh, the output is going to be V1. It means that um, under this condition, V in is going to be equal to Vg. It's like a switch. It's like our transistor. We are trying to model the transistor. And else, uh, zero. So basically, this is switch. When the input voltage is higher than zero, it's going to connect this to the input. And if it is uh, below zero, uh, it's going to uh, make this point zero and actually this is like transistor and our threshold voltage here is zero so this is very easy to understand and I will show in the simulation so after that I have the transistor model just put like a buffer it doesn't matter you can just remove this buffer as well and then I have the transistor with its GM so this diet I put the, it's like a model to uh, to model the the same thing actually, you can define a, a built-in function in order to have, uh, in order to define basically a diode behavior. For now it's kind of off because I put this voltage low and you will see uh, later on I will change this. For now it's ideal, you can ignore this. And the rest is, I have a DC feed, so I have a, a DC VDD of 1 volt and then uh, this is my load network. So here I, ha I have used a tank as you see. And the resonant frequency uh, is one gigahertz. As you see, I picked a very low inductor and very high capacitor, which is not uh, actually uh, possible in the real world because this is a very huge capacitor. And I'm going to explain this. I will make it uh, look like uh, something real uh, when we finish this part. And this is my load. So what is gonna happen here, uh, this tank is uh, ideal tank. Of course, it doesn't have a loss because the R here is zero. I assume that the R is zero, uh, which is not possible, but I'm just trying to show you the best case, what we have here. So the tank uh, is absorbing or trapping the other harmonics. So this current, I'm going to show the harmonics on this current and you will see what components we have. And the current passing through this resistor also is basically our uh, sine wave current. We want this to be uh, free of any harmonics and it uh, it should have only uh, the first harmonic. And this DC block, of course, we talked about this in order to prevent uh, any DC current uh, flow through this load and everything. So this is a class AB model and here I am putting this, this DC voltage above the threshold voltage and if you, for example, make a zero point, uh, maybe at zero it's gonna show error but you can make a 0 0.1, this is very class, very close to class B. You will see this. So let's start with class AB and I will show uh, you what happens here. So I'm going to start the simulation. Okay, so here as you see, uh, the input goes up to two and comes down. So below zero, it becomes zero. So it means that uh, the VG, the gate becomes zero and transistor gets off, like, uh, like what happens in the real world. So this gets off, as you see here, 
And so if you follow this here, you will see that your current, which is the blue curve here, becomes zero at this point because the transistor is off and we didn't have this in class A. So as you see, um, the red...